Hello again and welcome to another episode of Slash Camp. I'm your male here. This is going to be sort of like a, a, a quick episode. Um, <laughs> there has been a lot on my plate, especially this weekend. It's been so hectic, but amazing at the same time. <laughs> um, so essentially, I got a job opportunity, which currently is an unpaid job. But, hopefully in the future, knock on wood, it will be a paid job. And it is actually a streaming job. I am now a streamer for Smite Alternative on Twitch.tv. And it's on Sunday, or Saturdays and Sundays from 5 a.m. to 7 a.m., which is absolutely amazing. I'm, I, This weekend had been like... I didn't really, like, I worked, and then I came home, and then did the streaming, and it was so funny, because, like, at work, I was just so cheerful, and I was like, oh my god, I can't wait to go home, like, and everyone's like, okay, 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 and then I was, like, trying to explain, like, myself, and, like, what I was doing, and the fact that I had, like, my second job, technically this is my third job, because I still consider, like, doing these videos, and streaming and stuff like that as my second job, but it was funny because I was trying to explain to people, like, what I was doing, and they were just like, uh-huh, okay, you're, okay, like, I don't quite understand this, but you're happy and excited, so we're just gonna cheer you on, <laughs> and it was so great because I was like, man, wow, <laughs> How many people, like, they're like, you're doing what with video games? And I'm like, yeah, that's what I'm doing. And they're like, okay, okay, best of luck. And I'm like, whatever. <laughs> so, I got my debut on Saturday, which went amazingly well. Like, the first hour, I was, like, super nervous and talking, like, super quickly and... I was trying to be, like, extra energetic, because I had already worked that night, and I was just like, okay, I'm really tired. But then I had a Red Bull, and it screwed over my entire day, because then I didn't end up going to sleep until about 1, and then having to be back at work at 6, and I got whopping, like, I want to say it was, like, about 5, 6 hours of sleep, and I was like, oh, I'm so tired, I have to work, and work again at 5. I was like, oh my god. And then Sunday, I only got, which would be technically, technically yesterday, technically, because it's currently 2.30 in the morning, but um, I got like two hours of sleep because then I got up, went to work, came home, went to work again, and then slept for two hours and went back to the Ren Festival, <laughs> which was hilarious. <laughs> So I was, like, walking around Renfest, and I actually had, um, like, my belly dancing gear on, which I don't think you can see. My giant skirt is over there, and then I have, like, my gear and stuff up here. But I was, like, super jingly. <laughs> all the coins on the skirt, and then I had a, a top that had all the coins on it. It was super, super awesome because it was like hot and it was muggy and it was raining and it was, it was perfect because like I didn't, I didn't feel uncomfortable and then I was like, okay, well it's going to pour down rain, I'm just gonna like hide out in one of like the, uh, uh, tents or like the booths and stuff like that because usually they have like these wooden like buildings that they, they put all their stuff in and they sell from there. So, like, any time it started raining, I was just like, oh, let's go look at this shop for, like, a half hour. <laughs> so, and then wait for the rain to stop and continue on. My boots were covered in mud. And, like, thankfully, like, most of the skirt, like, it's just, like, this much at, like, the very bottom. So I'm just going to take, like, a bucket of water and, like, soap and, like, hand wash it. Because I don't really want to throw, like, that kind of stuff into a washer because I'm not sure if it's going to fall apart. So I take all the precautions I can to keep my, my outfits very nice and very clean. It's, um, I'm like, oh, I probably should do that. But as soon as I came home, I immediately just, like, passed out. <laughs> I was like, I'm done. I'm, I will see you when I see you next. And 
tomorrow is another busy day. <laughs> it's Labor Day, and I know a lot of people have the day off. And so I'm going to go hang out with a couple of my friends in Moreauville. I'm, gonna sp I'm supposed to see my dad and my stepmom tomorrow because, unfortunately, and I knew this was coming, and this was something that sort of everyone kind of was prepping for, it was the fact that um, I, my stepmom has had a cat. Well, it's my stepmom's and my dad's. So they've had a cat literally since I was, like, wee little. Like, I was, I think, like, ten, maybe, when they ended up... <laughs> Hi, Rogue! But, um, so this cat's probably going on 14 years old. 14, 15 years old, which is really long for a cat. And this this weekend I got a message that pretty much said, hey look, she's not doing so well, we're gonna have to, like, put her to sleep. So I'm going to go over, spend a little bit of time over there, because they're going to do it sometime this week. I'm not quite sure when, but it's going to be sometime this week. And so... I'm just kind of like, it's one of those things where you know you don't really want to do it, but you'll regret it later kind of situations. So I'm going to go tomorrow for probably about like an hour or so and, and say my goodbyes and give my dad and stepmom like huge hugs, huge kisses and kind of like prep the condolences, <laughs> which, um, since I, like, had... Yes, Rogue. Hello, Rogue. How are you? <laughs> um, since I haven't been, like, living at my dad's house, like, I wasn't really that attached. I am attached because this is an animal that we've had in our family for quite a long time, and she used to sleep with me as a kid, and, I mean, I used to keep her company, and, I mean, it's still one of those things that is heartbreaking, but... It'd be, like, even more heartbreaking if I lost, like, someone in my household than it is someone. And yes, I consider animals as someone's. Um, as someone that I haven't really been close with for several years. So that's going to be my tomorrow, which, like I said, I'm looking forward to, but I'm, I'm not quite looking forward to because I know, like, I planned it perfectly well so that I will have my bad and then my good because then I will be doing this, and then I will be hanging out with friends to take my mind off of it. So, it was perfectly planned. <laughs> perfectly planned. Uh, tomorrow is also RenFest. They're doing Labor Day. They have, they're have they opening up their gates. and So, I know a lot of people are going tomorrow instead of today because it rained all today, and the place was super muddy. And there's so many awesome things I want. <laughs> um... One of the th one of the biggest things that I really 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 wanted was a combat ready weapon of some sort. I mean, I have my bows and I have like my my swords and stuff like that, but they're not really something that I can keep and polish and hand down to like generations and stuff like that. So that's what I hopefully I know it's going to be a pretty penny. It's going to be a horribly pretty penny. <laughs> But it's something that I would like to try and have and get this year because I don't I don't have one. I don't have something. And I was like, well, I want to do it this year because next year I might forget or something might happen. And I don't know if you can hear that, but that's priest drinking. <laughs> Puppy! <laughs> But yeah, so hopefully, fingers crossed, hopefully that'll be my, my thing that I get this year for Renfest. I did get a frog, for those of you who actually know the, the lingo of garb, I got a frog for my tankard. And for those of you who don't know the lingo, a frog is something that is attachable to like belts and stuff. They have weapon frogs, so that like pauldrons with sheets and you can put your weapons in it. Well, this is a tankard frog. So, I have my my frog for my tankard now, which is going to be so awesome. So I can put it and keep it and have it on my garb and use it, which is going to be even better. 
I know I have my drinking horn, but the problem with the drinking horn is it's one of those things that is very unwieldy because of how large it is, and it doesn't really sit properly on me, and I need to figure out a way to, to, to attach it to myself that it will be fitted properly. Because, like, as it is right now, it kind of straps over my shoulders, and then it gets in the way, and I move around, and it just gets banged off of things. Where this will literally just sit on my hip, and it won't go anywhere. But what you do to get it off, well, while it's attached, you hold the mug, and you unlace it, and it comes off. And then this is still attached to like your belt and stuff, so then you put it back on. This one was a little difficult to actually wield, which was great because I knew this mil this tankard was like heavy. And then you reattach. So yay! Now you guys know what part of the lingo is. Part of the lingo. But yeah. Um, so yeah. I still have yet to get anything to eat, and then sadly I've neglected a lot of my nutrition over the weekend because I've been so busy and I've been sleeping, and sleep and food don't really... I have time for one or the other. And so I've been like munching on junk food. So tonight I'm actually going to treat myself to a nice dinner, which will probably end up being either Denny's or Eaton Park, but it's still going to be food, and I'm super excited. So I'm going to go do that, and hopefully you guys have had an amazing weekend, and I shall see you again later, and hopefully I'll be streaming at some point after I eat. I know I probably won't be able to stream much tomorrow. I want to do a 12-hour stream, but I don't know if I will have time. I'll have time to do like maybe a 3-hour or 6-hour, but I don't know about a 12-hour stream, at least this week. Um, I do have another debut coming up, which is Otak, which is a friend of mine from Florida who does otaku like stuff. Otaku Dan is his name, and he has his website and stuff like that. And he actually does a like podcast show for anime, and it's just vocal. It's not like what you see here or what you see for Slash Tat, but it's just uh, I, it's not going to be on iTunes and stuff like that. And that'll be Wednesday night, so hopefully I, once I get um, more information on that, I can get you guys, like, a link to where you can find the podcast I will be part of. So, <sighs> yay! <laughs> Super busy week. Uh, but I will see you guys later. Have a good one. Bye-bye.